Hello world and welcome to the biggest entertainment show on the planet where we analyze and dissect the trend and entertainment stories. This is Plus TV Africa and my name is Efeo Luo Oshinke and I've got my co-uncles with me, the well-informed Ewa Ritu and the man who speaks from experience, Benny Hack. With these two, I don't think we can go wrong. What's good, yo? Oh, wow, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> The man who speaks from experience. Yeah, you make knows. me you make me feel like a Methuselah. Like I've been, been living like a hundred and one years. But, like, but most actually, times you speak you from experience. Have, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you yeah. always have something. If we're talking about this. You've I'm, been a through I'm a student of life, man. I mean, yeah, I've been definitely. I've been I've been through enough it's too. Yeah, hard knock life. Yeah, I'm a, stu I'm a student of life. So. <laughs> if I bring you this money. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on something. I'm on something sweet. Okay. Now that's called love. In case you're wondering, it's not a substance. It's just called love. That's fine. Yeah. Love in itself is a substance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first off, well, um, we have a bad news. Um, as 21-year-old rapper, Juice World is dead. Reports reaching us states that the rapper died after suffering a seizure at the Chicago's Midway Airport on Sunday morning. The cause of death is still unknown, but it would be recalled the rappers, that the rapper has rapped about not making it past 21 in his legendary song, Legends. Hmm. Now that's deep because um, we have cases of people like Da Green and um, other rappers like the XX Tentacion is mm -hmm. also one of them who has always rapped about him dying early and these things happen. So I don't know if this is a coincidence or there's just something about putting certain things in your lyrics that actually comes back to bite you in the I think it's just backside. about life generally. What you think and what you say. I mean, yeah, I have power in the so, tongue. Yeah. Uh, mm, yeah, there's power in the tongue, but I feel like it's just if your mind is up to something, I don't know, God works with the mind somehow, or the mind just works in a way that if you wish for something, that's why you see that you probably wish to get something, and if you're really, um, how do I put it, if you really want that thing and you talk about it always, trust me, it will happen. Somehow, some sort, it would just but, happen. Um, the life. superstitious side of me can help to say that, and um, we've had stories of, um, People saying that they sold their soul to the devil so that mm. they can be successful. I mean, that's for a what's trending about this story. Yeah, because I went on Twitter and I saw a lot of things <coughs> saying that, oh, he sold the soul to the devil, saying that after 21, as long as he's gotten his fame and all of that, that it's going to be all right. Because they signed a $3 million deal with Interscope Records for. For oh, wow, so I really this is really saddening because I'm a big fan of um, especially starting from Lucy Dreams, all girls are the same, then legends because um, I can actually relate to those songs and I think it inspired a lot of people out there. So before we even go on, I'd like us to have um, a 30 seconds of silence for Juice World. May so rest in perfect peace. Amen. <laughs> so. Okay, for me, I think we should start paying attention to people's lyrics. They bring, um, they release the songs here, yeah, and then it helps you go pull through whatever you're going through. But the question is, the person that puts out the song, how does that person feel? What mm -hmm. if that is truly what that person feels, but everybody thinks that it's just somebody in the studio that's just singing something for us to listen to and enjoy. We need to start paying attention to people's lyrics, what they're saying, how their life is. I mean, just as somebody that he has um, always talked about his depression, him trying to get out of depression, how everybody around him, especially his girlfriend, and the drugs wants is, him, yeah, yeah, escape routes for him. For him, and everybody around him has always wanted him to stop doing drugs. And I'm just thinking, I know one of the withdrawal symptoms for Lynn is seizure. So maybe it's him trying to stop, and then this happened. No, you know, there are a lot we, of we ne we never can drugs tell. that can lead to seizure. So we, I don't think we should just focus on lean. No, cocaine no, no, that's, that's why he talks about seizure. most of the time in his music. He talks about lean. He talks even, about cocaine even, too, even because he talks about, about his uh, marijuana being laced with cocaine in most uh, of his tracks as well. Yeah, but one thing that I'm sure of is even people around him, what people have been saying is the lean thing. That's like one of his sweetest addiction mm. and he sings about how he puts him in one particular mood and he just forgets about his pain and all of that but everybody needs to understand that what drug would do to you is it will take away the pain for a moment then kill you and leave everybody around you in pain all right so benny let's quickly get your take before we move on to the next story novocaine for the pain mm. Mm. 
Um, rest in peace, Juice World. He's pretty too young, 21. 21. He didn't hide his addiction to mind-altering substance. He was very mm -hmm. vocal about it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it wasn't um, in the dark about that. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, um, what makes this feel some type of way about it is that, like she rightly said, people don't pay attention to lyrics. You mm -hmm. know, songs, music is spiritual. An expression mm -hmm. of what you're feeling. You song. know, music is so spiritual that it comes from a very spiritual place. Um, the content of music, again, plays a very vital role. You know, music has the ability to influence you if you listen to it over time. Whatever that music is saying, the content of that music is saying, you just find yourself, if it's so much about sex, sex, drug addiction, you find yourself doing it. There was a research that was done sometimes in You're the shaking 80s. shaking the weekend stable right now. That's it. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's a research that was done sometimes in the in mid-80s when heavy metal became the in thing. And they realized that most people who, live, who listen to heavy metal ended up killing themselves, committing suicide, or just, you know, they ended up so badly. Mm. It was the content, the lyrics of those music. Now, when Lucid Dreams came out, I was so, I like, there's something pretty deep and dark about the song. You know, then the video threw more light into it. That mm. was a young man who was disturbed. Mm -hmm. You know, whether people were paying attention to it or not at that point in time is what I don't know. But mm. Juicy, Ju Juicy World um, had issues. Yeah. He was fighting demons. Mm -hmm. uh, probably people knew about or probably people didn't know about. And the end and result... He, he was vocal about oh it yeah, as well. The end result is what happened. Um, whether it was uh, the aftermath of, of lean or drug, the point is we lost, we lost a young man mm -hmm. at, at the age a, of 20. A young one. legend because... You know, and I, I, I feel it's total bollocks for people to come and tell me that he sold his soul to the devil for fame. What, we all want that they fame. They said the same thing about that green. We all want that fame and riches. And so if it's that easy to sell your soul, then a whole lot of people will have sold their souls. Well, well, a lot of we have a lot of young. This is it. Yeah. That we actually have a lot, a lot of people, long, young stars that are dead have now, and addictions. the same story came out that they sold their souls to the devil. People have their addictions, and your addiction is your devil. Mm. Mm. All right. I mean, whatever that, that addiction is giving you as a means of satisfaction, there's an mm. ultimate price you need to pay for it. Sure. Um, Let's not forget Amy Winehouse, talented, mm. brilliant, brilliant performer. Sure. A demon was addiction to cocaine. Michael Jackson. That's a, that was a, uh, that was a demon. Hirsch Don't thing. you get it? That was our soul saying and our soul to that. Mm. You know, for, what, for whatever comfort, pleasure she was getting from cocaine, that was our selling and soul over to that. So I, I don't know if there's really a figurine. You know, right. that people go to the, the devil and say, I'm going to sell my soul for fame and riches. But... It's, it's pretty what it is. So people should be very conscious of what they listen to by way mm. of music. Your life gravitates to your predominant thoughts. True that, and well said, your life gravitates to your predominant thoughts. So think wisely, think positive, and then maybe your life will gra gravitate towards the positive and the wise part of your life. But we have to move on to the next story. Ghanaian celebrities are not happy with Cardi B. Guess the American singer won't be leaving Ghana with a Ghanaian name. Well, Chema B, oh, sorry, Cardi B. We shut down Lagos, touched down Ghana on the 8th of December, and according to celebrities out there, we were outraged by Cardi B not seeing them during a scheduled meet and greet with them, but was having kebab and browned them, like they say in Ghana. Not as Oops. Scheduled. They are scheduled meet and greet because she didn't know she had any meet and greet. Yeah, but so it was scheduled by the organizers of people bringing, so it's mm. still a schedule. The fact that it was not communicated to Cardi B wisely, somebody has to take responsibility for that because you don't pull out a lot of celebrities saying that you have a meet and greet with Cardi B at so to so, so time and then she's not available. Yeah, let's put it on the so, organizers, not that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not putting it on her, I'm mm. putting it on the. Um, Organizers who called out the sort of celebrities and mm. said, okay, you guys will be having a meet and greet, but you didn't go through the, maybe you didn't even gain the right access to Cardi B for her to even be informed about that. And then right now, a lot of celebrities are coming out. I saw, um, is it Afia Swaz nigga saying that, insulting her, calling her mothers, or a mother, all kinds of names. Cardi B's so, mother? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what as, does a mom as, do said, um, She was using a lot of the F words saying, uh, your mother, this, this, that, that whenever she goes to wedding, she gets about $10,000, that mm -hmm. all these other celebrities in Ghana that think they can wait for Cardi B, that she's a fear, and then, you know, uh, and somebody else came out, I can't remember who she said she was, Wendy Shea, Wendy and then Shea. as I saw Nigerians come, but I don't want us to make the, this um, this thing a Ghanaian um, Nigerian war because at the end of the day, Caribbean has 
released a statement saying that she was not even informed about this. And a lot of you saw me by the poolside having my kebab. Now, I'm thinking, if this was Nigeria and the Bonner boy was scheduled or the Juliet Ibrahim was scheduled to have a meet and greet, she probably walk up like, hey, hi, I'm this person, I'm this, I'm that. Um, are you aware that there are a lot of celebrities waiting for you? Kind of was like, nobody walked up to her, but instead, you guys decided to speak behind the back and see all of these things. That somebody could have just walked up to her, that she's a free-spirited person and all of that, but nobody did that. So I think this also, adds, I think the Ghanaian celebrities have a lot to do because they need to do better. Because if this was Nigeria, the amount of love, so you guys are waiting because, okay, there's a meet and greet, we should just lay back, she'll come and meet us. No, that's not how it works. She's gotta be. Do you understand? She had an itinerary before leaving for Ghana. And she definitely had an itinerary while in Ghana. Mm. There are details around her, what she was going to Ghana to do. Mm. And if this so-called celebrities, I was actually thinking to a media man who just wanted a press time with her. Mm. You know, so I don't think people in the likes of um, even Nelson, um, Jackie up here, up here would want to meet with Cuddy, and they would they wouldn't have the opportunity to meet with Cuddy. And again, let's let's get it straight. She she's coming from a place of where professionalism is is key. Mm -hmm. But um, artists artists in the like of Cardi B have details around her. And so if there was actually supposed to be a meet and greet mm -hmm. or a press briefing, mm -hmm. I don't think they'll violate that. So like she would at least say, let's blame it on the organizers. So mm -hmm. maybe there was there was a miscommunication or maybe there was a no communication. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of Cardi B. But man. so far. The love she's shown since she's been in Nigeria made me realize, you know, she's such a she, cool, mm -hmm. humble Thank person. You. She, 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 I she, became she, a fan. And then she fits you into know. everything, everywhere she was. Yeah. She just blended like there's no new person. There's here. no, there's really no air around her, mm -hmm. from what I can see. She's just been alive. And, and then you can thing, tell that she's not even like the arrogant person because everybody she met. Yeah. In Nigeria, she tagged them and put them on a story. And as soon as she saw the video of um, the celebrities ranting and saying all sort of things, she, she still addressed did, it. She still didn't see it as some a, a serious thing, and then yeah. she would say, she, "No, no, no, I'm but, not but, seeing but that." Guys, she came down. I think, I think then... we're skipping something here because she also said, "Oh, she okay." In a story, she was like Ghanaians in capital letter. Then she now said. Um, no wonder my stomach started acting up. So this takes us back to the fetish side of Ghanaians no, again. Okay. Like she's oh. making it look like it's a spiritual attack. And I'm like, Kari so Kadi so also believes in spiritual attack. Kari, Kari, so it's, Kari, I just realized Kadi is so informed. I don't know if you guys saw the tweet. There was somebody in South Africa that tweeted and said, oh, so Kadi mm. came well, to Africa. I haven't and, shared and, of South Africa. And, and, and in Nigeria, and was, not South Africa. Then she responded, like, you know, that should be the closing tweet for they, 2019. They gave me and like, you know, you know what? They gave me, when I came, they gave me Jollof rice. But if I was to come to you guys, you would have given me AIDS. I'm like, damn. That was savage. You know, like, that's, that a, closing, that research before coming that's a closing tweet mm. for 2019. I mean, the savage of them all. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't think there's an issue. It's not. It's I really think not it's an just, issue. It's really think, not an issue. And you know, a lot of people are saying that, okay, this lady came to Nigeria, no issues, everybody was fine. She blinded. She went to the motherless baby zone. She went to the orphanage. She, you know, she did a lot of went things. Went to a that, departmental store, bought stuff mm, for, for I mean, people. I mean, so, I mean, you know, right. a lot of things that all the celebrities that have come to Nigeria or Africa, not even Nigeria, haven't even done. But she did all of these things, and she, that is, she's no, no, a no, free-spirited have, have person. So we have done that. No, I'm t that that I've been to Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, of course, go but to but you know what? And, I don't yeah. think any celebrity has been to Nigeria and promoted Nigeria as much as Cardi B did when she was in Nigeria. Right. Do you understand? No celebrity. Right. We can go back um, history and then you'll find out that no celebrity from America or any other part of the world has celebrated or mm -hmm. spoken so well about Nigeria like Cardi B did. So big shout out to her for doing that. So this is not a Ghanaian, because I can see the Ghanaian saying that, oh, okay, this Nigerian, da, da, da. No. no, it's not a Ghanaian Nigerian no, war. Not. We're Absolutely not even not. doing that. They now, to, when they have issues here, yeah, I think they should start addressing it to themselves and stop dragging Nigeria into it. Because most of their celebrities came out and said, this can never happen in Nigeria. They carry their own. They re like, just address your people. Tell them mm. to respect you or do whatever you want them to do. Stop dragging Nigeria into it. Because at the end of the day, when the whole thing um, gets 
too serious, it's Nigeria that will take the blame because they'll be like, Nigeria All right. fighting for All right, everything. enough on Choma B. Well, I was hoping you get Nana B when you leave Ghana, but Nana is definitely not coming up. So it's time for a break, but we still have more stories to discuss. So don't go anywhere and stay glued to your screen as we'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us on Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on, David O's album is greater than Whiskey's new EP, Not Boy Rides. Okay, so we're behind the scene and Benny Ak has a lot to say about this one. So first off, I think you should start with your question. Yeah, who's Not Boy? Not boy, not boy is that um, beta artist, that um, beta producer. <laughs> I'm so sorry, uh, you know I don't know how to mince my words on this one. Is that beta producer it, that said um, yeah. whiskey didn't give him accolades for some tracks and this? And there are many, that, there are many producers whiskey never gave accolades to. So who's not boy again? What, well, what role did he play? No, 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 hold on. Hold on, yeah. Before, no, before you continue, yes. don't say that because whiskey don't give other. Uh, no, no, I'm not saying it is right. It's, yeah. No, 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 Give, yeah, yeah, give us, you yeah, sounded like you're saying it's no, right. No, no, I'm not saying it's right. No, I know no, the people, I mean, whiskey. If you've worked with somebody, or if anybody has done something for you, they deserve I'm to sorry. get the credit. I'm um, sorry. Was That's it free? It. And what, if I if I paid for it, do I still owe you to give you credit? Well, he's saying he you didn't don't get, know their contract. Then he said he didn't get the money, and then they Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, you so, don't know their so contract. Whiskey, don't go into that. So Let's just focus on this. He gave whatever it is to give to whiskey for free. Whiskey. No, he said he gave it to him, and then there was supposed to be a contract. And every time he asked for his money, whiskey would threaten him. And say wow. it came out to say a lot yeah, of things when this whiskey happened, tried to them like a gone. serious yeah. He also said um he gave the accolade to killer tunes for which of the songs now? Was it so no. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Joro. Joro, yeah. yeah. He said he gave the um uh, accolades to killer tunes for Joro. Meanwhile, he produced Joro. He's saying that he has even the raw files to prove that he was the one who produced it. But they were having a beef, so I think whiskey just figured Go on. Okay, my point is, let's just say this statement here is coming from the place of beef. But now, let's not try to deliberate if it is right to give people their accolades or not. It is just but wrong. But we've not heard from what whiskey. What is wrong? You it's know, wrong. You will never hear from whiskey that sweetheart, most hold on, Right sweetheart, now, we hold know on. most people that keep sweetheart. quiet is because they are wrong. We've not heard from whiskey. All we've heard from is from not, not side. Is that his mm. name? Not boy. Not boy. Not boy. Not boy. <laughs> All we have is not boy story. Mm. There are three sides to every story. Not boys, whiskey, and then the absolute truth. Mm. So we just can't conclude right now. So if there, there, there's been all of that you guys said before, then this tweet is coming from a place of, of animosity. He's and, bitter. And He's then, not happy. And, I, and you know, then so I would think... Not until we hear from whiskey. Um, I'm, not, I'm just going to take this tweet as a slap on the wrist. That's what I'm going to take it as. Okay, and then um, for someone who you would think would know a lot about music, it sounded so uninformed because um, if you're talking about somebody's album... He was album, coming from a place of no, no, bitterness no, 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 and not being happy. No, I, as, I, as, as what I, criteria? You said um, um, Gi Giant of Africa... Um, good, good and then time. I want, it's better I, than. I, I, I want Do you know to what Whiskey did? Whiskey put a Beyonce on everybody. Nobody knew there was an EP coming out. 
Do you understand? Nobody knew. It didn't, it's there was no publicity it for that track EP. EP. And I'm sorry, ma'am. Over the weekend, my friend and I were driving on, on the road for most of the time. And you were we jamming to we're that, right? like, what? Okay, well, I've not listened to the EP. But you like you listen say, you know, this, is, this has to do with, um, this is like opi an opinion issue. Yes. The fact that you like it no, does not mean everybody what? will like it. It's got to no. be the an informed that... opinion, right? No, no. He Hold just on. said, he yeah. just said, listen, he just said, those two albums... Mm. Are better than this album, based on. I mean, that's what a lot of people okay, tweet so, when they have so you, because it's him now. You don't expect him First to give you an essay why he thinks he's a music listen, producer. If you, he should if you, give. If you, he, that's the reason why he should you give me. You can always tweet and reply him that an reasons. Essay. I'm sure a lot of people have probably tweeted but and they have given his up, reason. Hold up, now this is <laughs> an EP. It's not Whiskey's album. Mm -hmm. And this is volume one. We're expecting volume yeah. two. Um, mm -hmm. Do you understand? Now, secondly, Davido said he has worked on the album for seven years. Now, if you ask me, what whiskey drop is feel good music? This is a typical whiskey sound. He didn't deviate from his sound. He didn't try to do extra. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? He just sound, dropped sound, sound feel man, good one. Sound man, like he just dropped feel good music. It featured music. Nobody said no, that. No, 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 no. Now no, you're comparing, baby. No, no, you're No, 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 you're comp no, no you said it like Davido has been working on this album for seven years. It's an years. album. It is premeditated. He worked with. Us. He worked with a lot of people. He had a lot of um, co-writers. Mm -hmm. He had a lot. Now, this is just Whiskey showing you that, look, the fact that I haven't dropped an album doesn't mean I've not been working. Wait, I have on. songs. Exactly. Let me, let me ask, let me ask <laughs> Ewa a few questions. Did you know there was an EP coming out from Whiskey? No, I can't be Even bothered. on that day, a wow. lot of people didn't know. Actually. Okay. No, she's a big David O fan, so I know. this is expected. I, almost, I, I like David O. I really. love no, David no, no, no. But, but I'm just I listen, saying, I listen I'm just to saying for someone song. who said... I, I'm just saying, like, I can't For someone who calls if, himself a music producer and just flagrantly just said what he said... On what it basis? Sounds pretty, on sounds, what ground? Sounds pretty Why do you know this is our... Very ignorant. Sweet, very, ignorant. Not very, boy. very, very... Not boy, nah. give us the reason. No, no, no. But not boy is saying what he about... We don't have to. We don't have to tweet at Is he legendary I think... Is he sass? Not boy. Saz okay, is not, sorry, Saz your, is not even he his He did mate. your soccer. Eh? He did soccer. So you people need to admit that and be happy. Whiskey has worked with a lot of other great producers that have done greater songs for Whiskey apart from soccer. Soccer was a big deal, you know. Soccer was not even soccer was featuring Whiskey. It is Terry, Cesar Mealy, and Whiskey Starboy. Do you understand? But it is soccer, not a Whiskey song. Soccer is a great song. song. Yes or no? Do you understand? No. It Soccer's is a great beat song. Was great. What? Yes or no? Okay, All right, guys. Can we, can we move on now? Okay. I'm not boy. Not it's boy. So, not boy. Oh, not squash your beef yeah, not boy, with right? Whiskey and stop being so <laughs> bitter. That's all I have to say to you. Me, I'm not squash even. Squash his beef. Go listen to that seven track. Well, you will love it. it will soon come out like Sam Clef and say the stupidest thing is done on social media is fighting with Skid. It's so, not, it's not yeah. Sam Clef. All right, so we need to move on to the next story. Maya Kroon has revealed to a fan that he goes around with the police because of the police and not thieves. And this is so worrisome because if we live in a country where we're scared of the people who should um, be protecting us and um, having our values at heart, and then instead we're moving with them so that we can be safe. It's just very very crazy and you see a lot of celebrities out there moving with um escorts you know sirens blazing and all of that and really they do all of this because once the police then they profile them because of their dress code they uh, most of them have dreadlocks they're wearing earrings they're doing they have tattoos and this is what it takes for you to be shot in lagos <laughs> I'm telling you, that's just simple. So this is really saddening, and um, I think we should do better. I think the, um, the law enforcement agency should do better in Nigeria. Mm. You know, when I saw this tweet from Mayor Kung, I had a moment to reflect and actually think about the tweet. Mm. Mm. As much as it sounded kind of funny and loose, but I actually thought about it really like, he's so right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you know, the chances of you need, getting that's it. is really I need, low. I need to be protected. Because sometimes I ask myself, why do they move around with so much military and, and security details? I'm like, it's not necessary. Who, which human being is about to rip you off? Yes, there are places they can go to, they can get mobbed. Mm. But, you know, this threw a different light to me that it's possible because just imagine a young man driving his Mercedes Benz, which is one of the criteria for mm. you to be tagged a Yahoo boy. Just have mm. a good Mercedes Benz you're driving. And then. Just have a laptop. That's it. <laughs> then have dreads on you. You're your prime suspect. You know, I think we should think about it. We should think about what Mayor Kun said. I move around with the police 
Because of not the because of teeth, teeth, but because of the police. Yeah, because every time I'm approaching a checkpoint and I'm maybe the, the, the police in front of me, immediately I begin to think of every possibility. Not because there's anything on me, but like you know, I, I, at that moment it, it's a whole lot of emotions that anything could just go wrong here. Yeah. And sometimes they would even stop you and tell you to come down where you're for search and they start going into the car. You also put in an eye on them to be sure they don't want to throw anything in the mm -hmm. car to, to implicate you, mm -hmm. which has happened a few times to people. You know, they begin to really wonder, are they here to actually serve and protect me or to implicate me? You know, and that all it takes for me to go behind bars is for them to just plant something and say they found it on me. And that is it. Everybody, everybody will believe the story that, yes, yeah. it was found on him. So, the police, our Nigerian force, the police force needs a total reform. And so if a celebrity in the likes of Mayor Kunku say this, then it shouldn't be taken lightly. Yeah. Mm. The entire MPF should look into this tweet and do something about it. It's time for the Nigerian police to be reformed. Reformation now. Hashtag reformation now, the Nigerian police. Mm. Mm. Hashtag re reformation now. Not revolution no, now. No, 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 reformation now. Reformation please. now. Hashtag reformation, reformation now, not the Nigerian police. Before they will say the TSS, no. please. So. If I didn't Refor spell it. <laughs> R-E-F-O-R-M-A-T-Y-O-N. That's a big difference. Reformation now, not revolution now. Yeah. And that's how we draw the curtains on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. Big shout out to my co-anchors, Ewari Tu and Beniak, for making this what the wow. And the entire production team, I remain your favorite host, Ifeolua Oshinkaya, saying thank you for watching. Peace and love. Thank you.